travel to the wastelands to meet the demon lord, Vil, with ASMR sleep stories and Celtic Reiki orientation to help you connect with your inner demon. Written and narrated by Martin Pentecost, originator of Celtic Reiki. A ways away you find yourself in the Mayfarer's Tavern at the heart of Roman Nose. Nestled in a quiet, candlelit corner, the warm glow of the fire dances across the room, casting flickering shadows on the wooden walls. You hold in your hands a pottery goblet, warm from the room and the tipple within. You feel the warmth spreading through your fingers, Around you, people chatter and laugh. Their voices a soothing backdrop as you drift into a quiet reverie. You ponder the nature of humankind. How are we capable of such kindness and cruelty? What drives us to war and bloodshed? And why do we struggle to live in harmony? The questions swirl in your mind, heavy yet somehow comforting in their familiarity. You wonder how we can change. How can we find peace within ourselves and extend it to others? How can we embrace our differences and come together as one, rather than tearing each other apart? As you hold these thoughts, you notice strange tendrils of light beginning to form in the air before you. These gyrate and shimmer, growing brighter and more intense. The chatter of the tavern fades away, replaced by a deep, resonant hum. The tendrils of light take shape, forming a portal that glows with the radiance of the underverse. You feel it. A pull, gentle, yet irresistible, drawing you towards it. The orientation, the orientation begins. Now begins. The instant you step into the portal, you find yourself in a vast expanse of desolate wasteland. Here, in the lost regions of the Standing Stones realm, the air is still and heavy with the weight of history. This place has seen countless battles witnessed the cruelty of humankind and felt the sorrow of lives lost. And these are not only contained within the battles of war and conflict, but of the suffering humans have inflicted upon other humans for millennia. The effects of persecution, hatred, enslavement, prejudice and inequality. These are the abuses of aeons and the trauma that germinated from those abuses. Each schoolyard bully is here, every violent partner, every act of racism, every queer bashing, every wrong conviction and each example of corruption, every act of terrorism, crime and antipathy are here, as are the experiences people have become imprisoned by in the aftermath, all frozen in moments of the air and the earth. Yet amid the desolation, there are glimmers of hope, acts of kindness, moments of bravery and the enduring spirit of those who strive for a better world. The landscape stretches out before you, barren and scarred. Ancient stones stand as silent sentinels, marking the places where battles were fought and memories linger. You walk among them feeling the echoes of the past in your lungs and beneath your feet. For the air is bitter and the ground is rough and uneven, testaments to the turmoil that has unfolded here. You happen upon remnants of the past, a broken sword jutting from the earth, a tattered shirt fluttering in the wind, a pair of child's glasses half buried by the dusty soil and a piece of paper 
scrawled with a handwritten dream that never came to be. Each artefact tells a story of struggle and resilience, of the courage and cruelty of those who came before. You feel a deep connection to these stories, a sense of shared humanity that transcends time and place. You find a quiet spot amongst the standing stones and close your eyes, the weight of the wasteland pressing down on you. But you also feel a profound sense of peace. Here in this place of ancient turmoil, you understand that the capacity for both kindness and cruelty exists within each of us, and it is our choices that define us, our actions that shape the world around us. As you wander further, you encounter a tall, powerful figure. His presence is commanding, his stature imposing. He wears a massive crown that resembles the sun, radiating an aura of authority and mystery. This is Vil, the Demon Lord, an old god who in his immortality now stands at a point beyond time, a place when all that humankind could be and is has been and gone and become forgotten. His eyes meet yours, and in them you see a depth of wisdom and an understanding that transcends all things in our physical earth. This is a labyrinth, Phil says, his voice a deep resonant echo in the emptiness. An ancient and forgotten labyrinth, where the walls cannot be seen. Because they have been lost to time. Yet when you remember, you will see them once again. As he speaks, you begin to notice the faint outlines of walls appearing around you, shimmering into existence. The wastelands transform before your eyes, revealing a complex, twisting, turning labyrinth, the likes of which even Daedalus could not have conceived. You realise now that this place is not merely a battleground, but a maze of memories and forgotten paths. You were all born with a duty, Phil continues, his gaze steady and reassuring. They are ancient beings, bound to you from birth to death. They guide you from within, teach you, protect you. They are kind, yet fearsome. Their presence may evoke love, trepidation, or even terror. But they are you, and they serve you. As you listen, you feel a warmth spread through your chest. A presence that has always been there, just below the surface. Your daemon. You sense its guidance, its protective nature, and the strength it imparts to you. It is frightening and comforting all at once. For whilst they are you, they are also something wilder, older, primordial. Your demon helps you navigate the forgotten labyrinth of life, Phil explains. To become one with yourself and to and find your way as a as unique a human being. being. When you forget your truth and blame others for your own missteps in the labyrinth, your demon changes. It becomes the enemy you see in the world. Before your eyes, Vil begins to change, his form shifting and expanding. He transforms into a mighty minotaur that stands towering above you, many stories high. His eyes glowing with an inner flame, you feel a surge of fear, but also a deep understanding. The more lost you become, the minotaur's voice rumbles, 
The more you fear and fight, the more your demon must battle to bring you back to yourself. To yourself. Lies and deception can corrupt you. They fool you into believing you are them, them and they are you. you. When you adopt the lies of the world as your, as own your beliefs, beliefs and values, and values you see your you true see self your as the enemy, enemy, and, and you will go to war with yourself. yourself. All the while, failing, failing to appreciate the part of the peace, peace within. This, this path is never trodden when listening to those with selfish, selfish intent. intent. When you, you are fooled into blaming the poor, the, poor, the lonely, the downtrodden, and the marginalized, for the wars those with those power create to keep you poor, lonely, downtrodden, and marginalized. Yet, your demon always knows the way, the way out of the, of the labyrinth. You close your eyes and listen, truly listen, to the presence within. Your daemon's guidance is a whisper, a gentle nudge, a powerful force leading you through the twisting paths. You feel a sense of clarity of connection, as if the labyrinth is no longer a place of confusion, but a journey of self-discovery. With each step, you feel the walls of the labyrinth opening up, the path becoming clearer. Your daemon's presence is strong and unwavering, guiding you, showing you the way. You walk with purpose, no longer lost, no longer afraid knowing that you are never truly alone. As you emerge from the labyrinth, the wasteland seem different, the air is lighter, the earth softer underfoot. You carry with you the wisdom of you, the demon lord, and the unwavering support of your demon. And whilst you know you will walk the paths of the labyrinth again, in some other place and time, your demon will be with you, and each time you find your way through the labyrinth, you find yourself and are reminded of who 